Okay. OP. What is the stupidest way you almost died? Stupid. I was at a Pink Floyd concert at the old Tampa Stadium. Was going to get a beer, as one does. I got crushed against a wall at the bottom of a stairway when a rush of people came up the breezeway. I couldn't move or breathe. Probably a hundred or more people in a log jam. I'm not a big person. Started to panic. Looked up and a guy looked over the rail above me. He started yelling at me, reach for my hand. He leaned way over, grabbed my hand and pulled me up like eight or nine feet over the rail. Like, man, this guy got some guns. Wow. Took a few minutes to get a breath. He had the security guy get the medic to check me over. Freaky close to a very bad ending. Wow. I actually think my dad was at this concert, by the way. <laughs> He's told me a story about, I, I believe, a Pink Floyd. He definitely like, was around Tampa and uh, Pink Floyd concert that got like rained out and there was like a mob and stuff. It was Bad Boy. Who was ba- who that, did Bad uh, that, Boy? That's, uh, that's uh, uh, Puff Daddy. Yeah, Puff Daddy, when he was... Um, when he was working as like an executive, apparently he was putting together some parties and there was this one event that he put together and like six people died because they got trampled on. He like basically promoted the event so well that it was packed. It was like a stampede. And, and this is from Leo Crap. <laughs> My homie's autistic brother was in the deep end of a wave pool. He can't swim without floaties. So we called for help and I jumped in. As I was trying to swim with one hand and carry him with the other, I heard the siren for the big wave that happens every few minutes. So I tried to quickly swim away, but it got caught up and pushed us under. I accidentally tried to breathe, and that put quite a bit of water in me. Just then, I felt someone grab me and pull me out of the water. It was my homie. Good homie. And he also grabbed his brother. So after I threw up a bunch of water and rested a bit, I realized I almost died in a wave pool that is insane and also wouldn't they see and be able to there's got to be like a kill switch for the wave i don't know man. So insane. i feel like once the water starts moving it's moving god also like what a terrible way to go like oh. you're, you're you're in a wave pool oh. with people's piss in it the worst. and body odor and worst, sweat man. and they're just dead you're dead and in, in a soup of uh in a people soup with Piss and piss and sweat poop and, poop and all kinds of shenanigans. All kinds, yeah, we don't want those shenanigans. We don't want those. I was at a water park in Texas, the big long big star site, with one of those super tall straight down slides. Like, you know, right. They had multiple signs saying things like, do not push off before sliding down because oh you're going to reach like the speed of light oh or something. God. Me, being an 18 year old idiot, which I would totally do this too, was wanting to race my friend. I decided to push off. That extra push started my slow motion airborne flight over the slide. I was then staring a hundred feet down at concrete and my other friend who had his jaw open. What felt like minutes later, I smacked down onto the slide and made my way down to the bottom. Thank God for the engineers that plan for suicidal idiots like myself wow that because like that's like i I love the water rides but that's like my greatest fear are you afraid of heights oh yeah i'm definitely afraid of heights yeah 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 Yeah. if i go to an apartment with like a really high balcony like i'm I'm shook i'm shook you really i'm like the exact opposite (laughs) i used to climb cranes right i still kind of do (gasps) it not that often but like fire like i climb i climb cranes and i used to do abandoned buildings and i i would do it in um in Las Vegas. Like I climbed this abandoned building in Las oh, Vegas. Wow. I remember in college, I would climb to the top of these, um, these apartment buildings and there would be like apartment building balconies. And then there would be a pool. And I remember I was just like drunk and dumb. And I climbed to the top of this apartment building. It's a, it's a, at the UCLA is probably, yeah. So it's like six, six floors or so. Like basically, oh my God. I, and I climbed over the balcony. So it's like the, you have the balconies, right? And I would like climb to the top of one balcony and then stand on that part. And then, grab to the top oh, and then no. pull myself up oh, and stand no. up again got all the way to the top and then i'm like i think i can make it in the pool and then i jumped into the pool and did not die i'm still here <sighs> and it was kind of lit but very dangerous Dude. don't do that i was at lake bled in slovenia lake bed in slovenia lake slovenia 
and I thought I could easily swim the distance between the shore and the island in the middle with a church on it. Why does it have a church on it? What is what is this place between the yeah. shore and the island, an island in the middle with, with a church? It? This island has a church? Why That's do they weird. have a moat? This is, this is medieval times? Boy, was I wrong. About halfway, I started getting exhausted and had trouble staying afloat. Then my body kicked into survival mode. The adrenaline started pumping, and I Michael Phelps my way. What's a Slovenian swimmer? Let's 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 use a Slovenian. Yeah, let's. Swimmer. Yeah. Well, Martin let's... Strel. All right. Also, for those of you who don't know, Martin Strel, L- Slovenian long distance swimmer, one of the most elite endurance athletes, best known for swimming the entire length of various rivers. Wow, of and various possibly. rivers. That's not yeah. an accomplishment. That's like J- John, rivers. John Fry, winner, of, uh, running the fastest on some tracks. Like so, he uh, did it. Michael Phelps. He Martin strelled the rest of the way to the island. I ended up paying five euros to have a boat take me back to shore after that harrowing experience. Guess he had cash on him. So this guy almost died trying to yeah. go to this church. YouTube fam, if you haven't already subscribed. Subscribe. Support John and I so we can get an office so I don't have to bombard my cr- roommate Christian <laughs> with record- my shenanigans. He's literally recording while his roommate is night. sleeping. <laughs> don't be shy.